Hey, hi, welcome guys. Welcome back to our channel, which is Pi Run. And today I'm going to discuss about how to read the config.ini file with the help of the object oriented concept. In the last video, I had shown you how to write a script to read the config.ini file. Again, it is not a job of your project. Means if you are going to work in a real time project and you are going to build an end to end project, then th that approach will not be a good approach. It, that approach only for the data analytic job. Means whoever are data analyst, for them it is very easy, it is sufficient means uh, to read the data because for them they have to read the data only as a data analysis. But if you want to be a data scientist or if you are in any domain, like someone is uh, working in automation or someone is working uh, as a kind of developer, for them also it is very going, it is going to be helpful. Basically, we are going to implement our op oops concept here uh, to read the config.ini file and I will tell you how to use that one. Okay, so without getting delay, I am going, what I'm going to do, I am going to remove all those things as of now. Okay, okay. So I'm going to remove this for now. And again, guys, this config.ini file is available in my local system so that you can go through it. And if you are going to give this script to anyone, that script will not work because this location might be not possible for that, for that user. So in this situation, what you can do in this situation, in order to remove these dependencies, what you can do, just remove this thing, just remove this thing and let it to be because it's a config under it's a root directory under the root directory how it will identify it's a root directory it will identify this dot if you giving the dot then it will check in the root directory under that root directory whatever uh, configuration configuration is my folder name inside the folder name this is my file name. got it up to this no doubt at all now what i'm going to do just try to understand i'm going to create one class and here inside a class i'm going to give my class name read config uh, you can give any name uh, it's a not a Java. So in case of Java, if you are going to create a public class, then you cannot change the name, right? So in case of Python, everything means uh, someone has told me in the last session, he sir Python is kind of language who made me uh, independent to uh, make my hand dirty in all domain. Yes, he is right. He or she whoever said it's correctly. I agreed means you oh, means uh, Python is kind of language with which you can do anything means if you want to launch a rocket you can do launch the rocket also and nowadays uh, uh, with the help of the python you can build a android app also so that's a facility now uh, let it to be now what i'm going to show you i'm going to read the file right this config.ini file so here is the different field like name is there email id is there so what i'm going to do in order to read the different field i'm going to create a different action classes so what i'm going to do re, uh, get name i'm going to create one name and inside of these no need to keep their self why because why i'm not giving self because i want to create this method as a static method and what is the benefit of the static method a static method are those kind of method which uh, which we can call with the help of the class name first thing okay and it will it will uh, take the memory when we are going to create a class okay so no need to create an object for that now Okay, so what I'm going to do, just try to understand, I am going to create one get name and inside of get name, I am going to, you know, I am going to call my name function. I'm going to call my name function and so that I can get. And now what I'm, what I did config dot get and here inside of get, I am going to uh, uh, get my, I'm going to uh, fetch my name value, whatever name values are there, that value I'm going to fetch basically. So I fetch that and now I'm going to return it up, return. And here I'm going to return my name. Okay. So whenever I'll call that, it will work. Okay. Now, similarly, I'm going to copy, I'm going to copy this piece of line of code uh, to fetch the email ID also. So what I can do, paste it here. And instead of, okay, instead of writing the name, I can write here mail ID, mail ID. Okay. So mail ID and instead of writing here get name, I can write here get mail ID. Okay, so get mail ID and that's fine basic info and what is the key I have to check that. Okay, let me go and check that email ID. This is the key, right? So copy this key and go to the config.properties uh, inside of this and instead of returning this name, I should return mail ID. 
okay done and let's suppose if you want to return if you want to print all the section also so what you can do just copy this piece of line of code again and paste it here and instead of writing uh, get mail email mail id i would like to call get uh, section s e c t i o n okay get section and here here what you can do config dot section you can call the section and instead of returning the mail id i should return section okay section section and instead of returning the mail id i should call here sec. okay cool cool no doubt up to this any problem no problem whatever fields are there for that i wrote on actionable methods now that's up to this it's no doubt at all we are are good to go this is the i created my my class and inside of class i created the different actionable method which is responsible to fetch the data okay no worries no worries now what i'm going to do so i have another package like oops packet package and inside of oops package what i'm going to do i am going to create one file like a python file uh, and this file i can give any name you can give any name test.py and here i am i would like to import first we have to import right that package okay how you are importing the packages right in case of python so similarly this this uh, read config dot py file is available inside of python basic py python basic package dot read config and import we have to import that read config class okay so that <coughs> as i already told you inside of read config class whatever methods we wrote that is a static method right so in case of a static method means uh, uh, let's suppose if you want to fetch the static method then you no need to create a object in case of any language like if you are working with the java if you are working with the python okay irrespective to any language if you are you have a static method or static variable you can call with the class itself okay so what i am going to do just try to understand here just try to understand what i am going to do print i am going to call the print and here read config read config dot get name uh, okay it is not giving the suggestion uh, wait a minute guys get section is giving okay no worries let me check that get section if it is giving then why get name is not giving okay okay my bad my bad it's a get name instead of writing the get name i wrote it ger name so cool so now it's up to this is done now that is done and now in for of just above i can write one line of code here what we can do here just copy paste this line of code and here paste it up and instead of calling this get section i would like to call get name now i am getting the get name okay no doubt and let me run this code so i am not getting anything why why because okay why because i guess for this reason okay i'll let you know what is that reason what is that reason test.py okay run the test.py yes i am getting my section and i am getting my name also okay and again guys if you are working with the ubuntu or linux okay why two dot someone will ask sir why wrote why you wrote here two dot basically your test.py is available inside of oops package oops package so it will search inside of oops package but our file is not available inside of oops package now it is available inside of configuration which is outside of oops package so that's what two dot i wrote it here two dot in the sense of two dot means come out from the python uh, sorry come out from the oops package and search inside of root directory that configuration folder and this and if you are working with the ubuntu or mac operating system instead of typing double forward slash you have to type single forward slash then it will work okay guys try to understand this thing okay this is very important many people are coming to me and asking to the same thing so this is the logic how to write your means how to implement your scripting language in the form of the oops language so hope you understood hope you enjoyed this video if you really like this video then please do subscribe our channel so that never missed our update milte hain next video mein and wishing you happy diwali and belated happy diwali okay thank you guys thank you for watching